Hello everyone, welcome back. So this video took a weird and ex unexpected turn. I figured that instead of doing a bunch of, instead of doing a bunch of exploring and just wandering around, I figured that I'd go through a sort of a process sort of view on how I go about making my weapons and oh my goodness, I should take care of my eggs, shouldn't I? Ah, that OCD. Sorry. Right, so let's get back on track. So the way I go about making my weapons if you are sort of new to RL craft and you're just overwhelmed by all the weapons in the world and I don't know you've made it past the point of getting diamond and you're just wondering what's better than diamond right because eventually you'll just have you'll just have a bunch of diamond from like if you're like me and you like dungeon hunting you know diamond's gonna be sort of abundant right and so you're wondering well gold sucks iron's mediocre but it's a good place to start Emerald you can't really do much with. Lapis is just there for enchantments. And there is bronze and some other stuff, but they're not really good for anything. So once you get a hold of a few dragon bones or a few dragon weapons, then you know that's when everything starts to open up for you, right? Dragon weapons are, from what I've seen, the most powerful weapons in the game. There are some enchanted stuff you could create and crafts and, you know, kind of get wild with, like this Vernon Venom, Venom uh, Axe Blade, and it just has a bunch of weird um, effects and stuff that is very powerful. But, you know, when we're talking about raw power, uh, Dragon in general is the best way to go. So the way I approach this, right, I personally just have a bunch of crafted weapons. And I, I have, um, I believe I have one of each now. And I, this is just for me, for my personal gain. Um, I like seeing all these weapons just kind of accumulated. And eventually as you progress through the game, you'll have a bunch of these resources, right? And so the way I go about it, right, is I craft several of the same items. So for example, long sword there, long sword there, right? And so I'll craft one or two, maybe three of these. And so what I'll do is, um, you have a random chance to get either a good enchantment on them or a negative one. So for example, this one has negative five speed and negative five attack speed. Sorry, I said that wrong. Negative five dig speed and negative five attack speed, right? And so that brings the quality down to clumsy, right? So all of these down here that I don't use are just have negative effects. So the reason I don't discard these is because later if I ever want to repair any of my dragon weapons which all have negative effects i don't know why i keep them i could just use these to repair them because it's not going to take away from the already enchanted stuff right so whenever i craft these weapons i always make multiple so now if you don't have the resources to craft multiple weapons i wouldn't sweat it you just take what you can get hopefully you're lucky the first time but i wouldn't sweat this part too much just because it does take a lot of resources. It's more end game. Honestly, whenever you're first starting off, you know, just getting that first dragon weapon is the coolest thing. So for determining which weapon best suits you, it's obviously going to depend on your game style of play. So I'm very much a shield and weapon kind of person. And the best weapon to combo with that would be a dragon halberd. Um, because you can actually use the weapon while you're protected or shielding so it makes it very strong and you're pretty much almost indestructible assuming enemies aren't doing negative effects on you like poison uh, disorientation stuff like that or you're on fire whatever etc so yeah so halberds work great for shields and long weapons like long swords and just regular swords are great for aoe damage when it comes to melee, because halberds will only attack one enemy at a time, whereas uh, longer weapons like this will attack multiple enemies with one swing. Um, also, they all have different enchantments. Uh, some of them do overlap from one weapon to another. Uh, so let's see if I have any here. So sharpness can go on halberd and on the battle axe, but something like, okay, so something like uh, Killing would not be able to go on a halberd. Um, that is uh, a mace and a hammer sort of uh, enchantment. And so you just got to watch out for that because sometimes you'll just get all these enchantments and you, it gets overwhelming keeping up with all these. I might do an enchantment guide because 
a lot of these different enchantments come from different resources pack and when you have 128 resource packs um, all modded into this RL craft then it's hard to keep up with but um, I'll do an enchantment guide an enchantment guide if you guys would like to know what enchantment goes where because it is like I said a little overwhelming so once you've created your stuff you can go over here to the enchantment and this works just exactly like the normal enchantment would in Minecraft you know you can have a maximum of I believe it's 12 books um, this is just the layout I like to have it in it works it's sufficient and you know I have all the enchantments that I need so the 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 way I like to approach it first is I like to carry books so that I can see because sometimes I think one of the most valuable enchantments in the game is um, on breaking three right because it's not very common so you always want to check to make sure that you're not pulling in and I'm breaking three here because I would uh, prioritize that over anything else. So once you see that you don't have uh, any like top tier enchantments, I would just start focusing on your stuff. So, wow, this is probably the worst I've ever seen it. Lesser flame for all three. That's awful. Uh, another point to take is that so in the version before this RL craft, you used to be able to sort of hack the system or you know do a little cheat by um by getting one of these xp tomes and you would put your experience in there and then bring it back out and it would refresh this um enchantment table and if you're still in the in the previous version of rl craft then you could probably still do it but with this new version it's not uh it's not available anymore so there's that unfortunately so anyways now we continue through uh fortune fortune yeah so fortune three would be good um but i would prefer advanced efficiency like a higher grade one or unbreaking um so i'm just not going to enchant that no point in checking that versatility reinforce sharpness and unbreaking again i would prefer unbreaking over any of those agility protection and that is it so whenever you get stuck like this this is where oh i actually almost forgot so before you do enchantments, you have to remember that if you want to get enchantments and you found, let's say this, for example, where you found a really good enchantment and you, and this really only applies to dragon, um, you can enchant it with dragon's blood to make it that much more powerful, right? So uh, I'm not going to put the fire one, I'm going to put the ice one. Because slowness in this game when going up against hordes is the most optimal sort of a uh, bow there is because fire you can take friendly fire from uh, fire damage no pun intended so yeah so whenever you're going to enchant and you're messing with dragon uh, dragon weapons and you have a let's say let's say you have a preference over whether you want a fire weapon or an ice weapon you should do that first otherwise oh see yeah so i lost my enchantment there every time you do this you lose an enchantment unfortunately so in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter <laughs> what the initial enchantment is except for these tools. So whenever it comes to weapons, you want to um, use the dragon blood uh, in order to craft those into a fire or icy weapon. If not, then just go about your day. Um, so the benefit of having multiple weapons that are the exact same is that you can sort of use them as a dummy run. So instead of because I didn't find anything that I really wanted to keep. And sometimes you don't just want to waste your experience, right? So what you can do is you can pick one of these enchantments, per se, right? Something that's kind of meh, mediocre, right? And, ooh, efficiency four, that's really good. So you can use that as a test, um, as a test dummy enchantment. And that way, whenever you do do it, it's going to refresh everything, right? So now I have power, range, and unbreaking, right? Still not good, but now everything else is going to be different. I have no idea what tunneling is, so... Oh, there we go. See, unbreaking. So incendiary. So not only am I already applying fire damage, it's going to apply even more fire damage. So I'm not sure how that's going to stack. Silk touch. I already have one with silk touch, so... Oh. Oh, there we go. Another unbreaking. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, so this is very unfortunate. You do have a chance to randomly get multiple enchantments in a single weapon, but it is sort of on the smaller chance. And 
fire protection. Four, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Arrow recovery, I really need arrow recovery, so I'm gonna do that. And lesser flame power, on breaking three, there we go. See, like that, you get on breaking, efficiency, and quarrying, right? So I did get an efficiency, which is really good. Um, let's see, on breaking, oh, that's really good, okay. So right now I need more experience. So the cool thing about this um, this game is that these experience tomes are super great whenever you're going dungeon hunting, right? So that way, anytime you die, you're not necessarily losing all that experience whenever it drops to the floor. Instead, you can save it on these books, and that way whenever you die, it, all that experience that you've just lost is held in the books rather than um, you losing it all. So this isn't exactly how I would go about it. Normally, the way I do it is I go through every single weapon, and then at the end of that run, I will make a deciding choice on what I want to do and what I want to enchant. So I just kind of spared you guys through that whole tiring process. But yeah, this is essentially how I go about enchanting my weapons. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys already do that, but in case anyone's new and you guys just needed, ooh, efficiency. Oh man, ooh, I got an unbreaking. Okay, so this this is good on its own. Unfortunately, see, so some some of these um, enchantments don't really affect you too much when it comes to quality. So digging speed, a drag. You're not gonna use the dragon bone axe to, axe to dig, right? So you can disregard the fact that it says digging speed or even attack speed because you're not gonna need those things. So it doesn't really affect your axe. Okay, so. That is the enchantment table as far as our old craft goes, right? There's also the unenchanting table, right? So the reason you want to have multiple, um, if you have the the resources, if you want, and it doesn't even have to be the same the same uh, tier or weapon uh, per se as the the main weapon that you want to have, as long as it's within the same category weapon category, because you can disenchant the weapon so that it goes into, you know, a book. So I might do that. And that's the reason you wanna create multiple of them because if one one of the enchantments applies to, say, one of the test dummies, but it doesn't apply to your main weapon, you can disenchant that other test weapon and put it onto your main weapon. Let's just go to an any anvil and it's gonna cost me one what? <laughs> For what? It's charging me one, level, whatever. So now what you can do is put whatever enchantments you want on that bow. Assuming it is, assuming the enchantments are for that weapon. So I know pull speed, okay. Oh, pull speed is only for crossbows. So that's why you can't put it on this. Uh, sharpshooter, well, I thought it was for this, but I guess not. Uh, penetration, okay, crossbow too. So I know error recovery will go in there for sure. Multi-shot will go in there for sure. And power. Okay, awesome. So it's not god tier like my old bow, right? But I have now a better bow than almost this one. I would prefer rapid fire because that's the one that allows you to draw the arrow back faster. But I didn't get an enchantment for rapid fire. So that is that. So that that's how you go about sort of creating a god tier enchantment or weapon. So nothing else is really matters here. Um, I was just kind of crafting extra stuff because last time I got killed in that uh, in that blood moon, I needed I needed my, a new bow and I wanted to replace this one because while this one's not bad, it only shoots one arrow at a time. And it's kind of hard taking that this weapon into dungeons because, well, it only attacks one enemy at a time, and it's not the, the best. Um, as far as weapons go, this one's not bad. It has lifesteal, which is great uh, against hordes and stuff, because it does do AoE damage whenever it... I guess it's not going to slash, but whenever it slashes, it'll do AoE damage. But yeah, this is, a, this is a very quick and hopefully easy tutorial to follow on how to go about enchanting your weapons. I could make a more in-depth... Uh, tutorial on what enchantments go in what weapons because it is frustrating when you're sitting there with like a hundred enchantment books and you're trying to figure out what can go into which weapon or item 
and it's really frustrating sometimes having to test out a hundred different enchantments and so and so i separate them into different categories depending on what weapons they go into and this makes sense in my head but i know it's not gonna make sense to you guys <laughs> but yeah that is gonna be that small little hopefully i don't lose any more weapons i mean it's inevitable right with rl craft you're just gonna keep you're gonna keep killing monsters gonna, they're gonna keep killing you so it's just inevitable i think but you know i think part of what makes this game really fun is just making those new combos for those new weapons and stuff like that and trying new things out so um i'm gonna go get a drink of water in our real craft before i die of dehydration and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and this made it a little bit easier on you guys on how to go about making god tier weapons and stuff like that again if you guys want to see a full in-depth tutorial on like what enchantments go on what weapons or armor i can do an armor tutorial too um then just let me know and leave a like if you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next video hey thanks for watching see you later bye